How's it going, guys? I'm Ryan Kunin. I'm Mrs. Caitlin Goodwin. I'm Carter O'Leary. This is the Sustainability Podcast from the Grand Granville Perspective. Perspective. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Granville Sustainability Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about sustainability and um, defining it in our own way. So the, the general agreed upon definition of sustainability is essentially you know, developing now and, and being able to live in the present without compromising the, the needs of the future. And so we're here to share our perspectives of sustainability with you today. One of the books that we had read uh, over this week was uh, Introduction to Sustainability, uh, We Ought to Build a Better Future. And uh, he has a lot of great topics that he covers about, about what sustainability is, which is a development for the future and the present, trying to uh, be in line with each other how economic growth, society progression, environmental uh, protection, and then he even talks about like what the present is, even like a day or two ahead, and then the future within five years, and talks about how to tackle on those uh, progression. And as uh, important as, you know, to plan for the future, um, there is no real way to tell what the future will hold. Um, so that's why sustainability is so important, why we keep uh, you know, running checks on things and making sure everything is you know, the way it's supposed to be. And um, uh, obviously advancing too. Um, you know, there's no sustainability without advancement, so uh, that's definitely a big key. And I feel like a lot of time when, when people talk about sustainability, the first thing that comes to mind is the environment. Like we hear a lot about environmental sustainability all the time. We've got to protect our natural resources. But really, when we think about the present and the future, yeah, the environment is super important, but there are other aspects of society that are also important. Uh, like just having a day-to-day -day life, you got to sustain a way to make it so you get to live and not just be in the moment. You have to find a way to every day make something new rather than just be living in like society. Make each day something new and special for you. And uh, economic growth plays a big uh, part in sustainability um, just with, uh, you know, money wise is a, you know, it's a big thing that runs every country. Um, and so keeping, uh, keeping up with the way money flows and um, just how it's spent and how you spend it uh, is a, definitely a big key. It also affects businesses on how corporations can evolve, how small town businesses can stay afloat. It's a huge thing on understanding what sustainability truly is rather than what some people call it as. Because sustainability is really the maintaining a rate of always increasing but not increasing too much. That you want to progress through time, but if you progress too much, you'll have nowhere else to go in a couple of years. But if you maintain to what you are five years down the road, your small business won't be able to stay afloat with the different uh, increases in taxes and cost of living. Right, I think it's really cool that you bring up scale. Because, like, you know, when I think about sustainability, my brain always goes to big scale. Like, sustainability of the world, let's save the planet. And, you know, there are a lot of huge systems that are in place when you're talking about that global scale sustainability. And then you brought it down to, like, you know, for your business. How can you be sustainable, for, you know, make environmental and conscious decisions, make, you know, decisions that are going to keep you in play in you know, financial decisions, and then also making sure that you're serving the society and you know keeping that aspect going. And then you like brought it down even further and talking about like personally, like how do we, how do we be able to sustain ourselves? You know, when interacting in the environment, managing our own money, managing ourselves and our interactions with others. I think it's kind of cool how you know the different scales 
play effect. Like, I wonder which ones you guys think of most. Like when you think about sustainability, what scale do you go to? I think of the smaller scale mainly because you gotta start someplace and if you start too wide of a uh, horizon, it affects the smaller scales. That the smaller scales, when they come together and you build off of them, you get the well, the big scale of the whole environment, the whole world, and you can see that with COVID, the way that it affected uh, businesses having to go out and people losing their jobs, it also affected the prices increasing in our economy. That when the little businesses go out and we're more reliant on the big businesses, and they have to raise their price because supply and demand. That they only have so much supply now that they have to raise the price so people can get the demand they need. I like that with the supply and demand too because um, I think a big part of that is just like the trend, you know, what's what's going on right now and um, what people need right now. And I think a lot of the small businesses didn't have what people necessarily needed during the pandemic. And that's, you know, that's not on their part, you know, it's just, nobody saw this coming. Um, so it's it, it gets really tricky when you like bring in the small businesses and like it's you know obviously the bigger businesses way out the smaller ones because they have more of what the people actually need so um, it's really important uh, for people to support uh, the small businesses when they can because um, that also helps the economic uh, growth Ms. Good, when you were a degree, it even affects school systems, how learning has been a change since last March. It's almost been a year since we as a school system had to shut down. And this is probably going to be coming out that day that we had to have our two-week break because of COVID. But just the way of teaching, you don't have a lot of kids in your classroom all the time. And learning's different. And we adapted. I think that was the main thing that we found a way to adapt and then become sustainable to build for a future. That like right now we get to come Wednesdays and at the start of this year we weren't coming Wednesdays, no one was coming Wednesdays. And us seniors are lucky enough to be able to come every week now. Yeah, and that's just uh, again what Ryan said, just building off that, starting off small because you don't want to start off too big and then have too much food on your plate. You know, you gotta start out small, and um, good things will come. Well, also like Cordo said, start off small and head to big. If you stay small for so long, if if you're thinking it like it's a food to plate, yeah, you grab your entrees before your appetite. Well, you grab your appetizers before your entrees, yeah. and if you eat too much, then you'll never have room for your uh, entrees. But if you don't, if you get the same size appetizer and entree, you'll still feel like an emptiness that you might not be fulfilled at that present moment. It's just knowing when and uh, how you can increase. Yeah, I think you guys bring up a, a really big thing as we're talking about sustainability with you know being able to adapt. You know, there's a bunch of different scales, there's sustainability. You gotta like make it manageable for you at the time, be ready to move forward, but then also be willing to adapt because you, you have an idea of what the future might be. But when it changes, you gotta be willing to change with it. Yeah. Uh, in the book that we had to read, uh, there was uh, three phases that they in, uh, implanted for sustainability and uh, going in the future. One is the optimal phase, which is the present. You plan what's going to happen now and then. Well, for like the first two years. Say COVID stays around for five plus years. This would be a great uh, image to look about. How are we going to be able to bring kids back to school? And how are we going to make sure it's safe? And then you have the tactical plan, which you think, okay, how can we get kids, every kid here, instead of just the days that they're allowed to come? How you get almost to a normal school system, how you 
like we have seven through twelve in our school, and we go like every other week. But just figuring out how you can get all grades in the school at once, and then finally you have the strategic phase, which is like you plan for the future past that. When do you think we're going to be able to come back to somewhat of a normal school day, and how to not make kids feel like everything around them is dangerous? And that they could honestly get sick at any point and have to worry about them having to get COVID tested or quarantined. Um, as we uh, discussed everything today, we want to kind of leave you guys with three main takeaways that uh, we got and hopefully you guys got. Um, a big one for me uh, is sustainability and development. Many people think that those two can't really coexist, um, but I see it as a they kind of mean the same thing, you know, development is something that happens over time. It progressively gets better. Sustainability, you're not going to always stay the same, but you're going to slowly progress over time to get to a better, more sustainable uh, environment, economy, social life, etc. And even with that, another point is always be ready for roadblocks. Life's not easy, we all know that. This COVID has affected all of our lives and that it's the ability to adapt and create uh, a new road with the roadblock that you have. And that's what sustainability is to me. Right. And, you know, we, we think about the future, we think about the roadblocks that are going to be ahead of us. And sometimes when we think of it on such a large scale, it's scary and it's overwhelming. You know, like, what can I do about this? You know, but remember, sustainability happens on a scale. So if you know, thinking big scale, medium scale, you know, whatever scale it is, if that overwhelms you, bring it into yourself and figure out what can I do now to be sustainable, to help myself thrive now and thrive in the future. And then you can start bringing in the other pieces to you know, create a better world for us all. If you guys have any more questions, want to comment about it, or see more about us, please go to our uh, website. The link should be below in the bio. And if you're at our website watching this, uh, you can just go from there. Thank you guys. Peace out. See you guys. Bye. Oh my gosh, I have a class. I have a class. Um, we need to wrap up. <laughs> <laughs>